Hey guys, Michael here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're talking smart scales. Today's review is a Fitbit Aria 2. It's very futuristic looking, it's black, it's got a little bubble for its LED screen on it, and it just has a nice feel and look to it. Fitbit says this scale can last for up to a year on this battery, and I found that that's probably the case. I bought mine back in March, I've been using it ever since, it is now July, and the app still says I'm at 100% battery, which I don't know how that's possible, but it says I'm at 100%, so it seems like it'll easily last through the year. It has options for multiple users. You can have up to eight users per scale, but you can also have guests come on and use it. It just won't save data to their profile in the application. But my wife and I both use it and find that it's usually pretty good about picking out who is who. Occasionally it'll get it wrong, but then you can just back off and reset it. So it allows up to eight users, which is great. And if you have more than that you want to use, then it has a guest feature so they can see what they weigh, but it won't save it to their application. The Fitbit app has all sorts of options for this. You can choose a different icon. So I'm a dog and my wife's a butterfly. And that's just kind of a fun thing to show what user is getting weighed. And you can select if you need to change up what weight applies to who. The scale connects both to your Wi-Fi and can be Bluetooth to your phone, so that is how it syncs with the Fitbit app. As far as accuracy goes, I found that the scale is quite accurate. It compares just as well to other scales I've used and others in my house and also at the doctor's office. It's pretty close and I would trust it with that. Of course, with any scale, you want to use it at the same time every day and make sure that you haven't had anything to eat or drink if you're doing it in the morning so that your body kind of regulates and you know that you're getting the same type of weigh-in every day. Now the body fat percentage, I can't say that I would trust what's actually on the scale. My wife has had calipers done and has gotten an accurate reading of her body fat percentage and it was much lower than what the fifth bit said she is. So we switched her to lean mode. So lean mode is a special setting you can do in the app and it's meant for people with very low body fat percentage. And she's no professional athlete, she's in relatively good shape but just found that the lean mode is closer to what she actually measured at at the gym when they were using calipers and getting a real accurate reading for her. So the reason you can't trust the scale for body fat percentage is it's using a method called biometrical impedance analysis. And this is just a way for it to send an electric pulse that's very safe up through your body and try to work out your body fat percentage from how that electrical pulse goes throughout your body. Now there's been a lot of studies on this method and it's found it's just not very accurate and that's just kind of how these little consumer scales are going to have to try to make it work and so you have to be okay with that. So what I focus on is the trend line of the body fat percentage. I know I can't trust the number that's coming out but I'm very happy with being able to see the scale as the body fat percent either goes down in a trend line or up in a trend line. The trend line is what I find important. It's what I find important for my weight, for my body fat percent, for my BMI. So in general this is a really nice smart scale feels nice, it looks nice in the corner of the room, and we use it a lot more often than we were using our non-smart scale. So I absolutely recommend if you care about your health and you want to be motivated and that graph and seeing how the trend line of your weight or body fat percentage is every day would help you, then I highly recommend getting a smart scale that syncs to your phone. It doesn't have to be the Fitbit area. I really like the Fitbit ecosystem, but there are some other good good ones out there from Y Things and a lot of other publications have, have found that they prefer the Y Things one to this Fitbit one. As far as issues you might have, a lot of people have found that it might be a little breakable. I haven't had that issue in five months. If you're using it normally and carefully, you won't have this type of issue. There is a max weight of 350 pounds for the scale, so you can't be over that. If you're not from the US, you can change it to the metric system or stones, and it even allows you to change the decimal from a period to a comma, if you're used to that. So as you can see from my trend line, it has actually improved my health a lot, because that trend line goes from a weight that is far too much for me down to something that is much more reasonable. I'm very happy with the motivation I've gotten from the Fitbit area, and I highly recommend you get a smart scale. So if you want a really nice looking smart scale that will motivate you and look good in the corner of a room or in the bathroom, highly recommend the Fitbit Aria 2 smart scale.
And that's what we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, smash that like button, and I will see you next time.